Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the worst fucking podcast you've ever heard. Both mics. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I, I do love, love a good, good introduction, introduction like that. And, and we, we are, without, without a doubt, doubt the, the worst, worst fucking, fucking podcast, podcast you've, you've ever heard. <laughs> I mean, I look, look at this. I can't even put your damn, damn picture, picture up. up. Hang, Hang on. on. I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying, trying to get there. there. I'm, I'm trying. trying. I'm here trying. Here we, we go. go. Hey, hey there. Hey, we're here. Welcome to Both, both mics, mics, everybody. Hey, guys. Both Mics is a show about nothing. Well, that's a podcast about nothing and everything. We do it all. You name it. Uh, over there, Michael Safka. And, and over, over there, there that's, that's Mike Taylor. And, and together, we are Both Mics. mics. We are doing show number 100. Wow. 100. How many podcasts make it to 100? Wow. wow. But yeah, you can hear us anywhere, everywhere, every Friday night, twitch.tv slash both bikes. Come on by, check us out, and see what we're about. Uh, find us anywhere you find podcasts, guys. All right? Let us know because we're at 100 and we need more listeners. So, 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 so you know, you know if, if you're, you're watching, watching this when it's released everywhere, everywhere that's, that's on yeah. high day, March 14th. If you're, if you're watching, watching us when we're doing this live, it's Friday, March 11th. This is the secret show that we do after the first show. So. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, I thought it'd be interesting, interesting for us to talk about pie today. Ooh. Okay. Oh, there you go. One, One away. away. Hang, Hang on. on. I'm pulling away, away the other thing. thing. Hold on. Here we go. Yes, yes I, got I got some fancy stuff set up. Of course, if you're watching on twitch.tv slash both mics. First thing I want to remember, I was born. I was born. I was married on Pi Day. Ah, yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. yes. Do you, do, can you, like, conceive that? Yes. yes. 3.1415, 3. that's March 14, 2015. And uh, we, we were trying to pick a day, and we were thinking about 12, 13, 14, and then the 12, 12, 12, or something else. We, we couldn't figure, oh, 12... <laughs> 12, yeah, 12, 13, 14, we couldn't do that day because that's actually a, a day in my past that I don't want to remember. Uh, <coughs> my <coughs> previous anniversary. Um, <coughs> so I couldn't get married on that day. So we, we, we ended up with, uh, with 3.1415 with uh, my wife, who in a previous position at work was actually a mathematician. So it kind of fits in there, and she's in IT now. Uh, so yeah, uh, the whole pie thing kind of fit in perfect, and uh, it was cool. You won't be able to forget it, that's for sure. And it was during spring break, and it was also uh, during the extended St. Patrick's Day weekend, with our reception being at an Irish restaurant. So yeah, it was uh, it was crazy, but of course you knew that because you were there. It was, it was fun. fun out there. It was a good time. time. Mike Sofka was my best man at Mike Taylor's wedding. You, it was good. Your, your brother-in-law brother had this, all, these, these awesome, awesome pies, pies, too. The pie, pie was like five, five pounds of uh, apple in each pie or something. It's freaking crazy. crazy. My, uh, my brother-in-law, Brenda's, Brenda's little brother, owns a place called the Apple Store. No computers. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he owns an apple orchard in Medina, Texas, which is right outside Bandera, which is the cowboy the, the, the original place of the cowboy or the founder of the cowboy, something like that. Big rodeo country, a lot of a lot of Texas Longhorns up there. And he actually has an apple orchard. And he has been written up in Texas Monthly Magazine for having the best apple pie in Texas. The thing, the thing was, was huge, huge, dude. Five pounds of apples. And it's a, a specific recipe that, that he got along with the store that I think only one other person in the world or in, in the country or in the state has a specific pie or the rights to make this specific now, apple pie. Now, now do, do you know, know is it a certain type, type of apple, apple that he grows? Or do you know? know? Um, he, he actually grows dwarf apple trees. These trees don't get much bigger than 12 feet tall. So you can kind of handpick everything that you need wow. off these trees. Is that, is that by, by design? Is, is that, that what you wanted by design? design? Okay. Yeah. Well, the, the previous owner did it that way. And they, the way they grafted the trees, they're dwarf apple trees. Nice. And, uh, a previous property I had, we bought some and actually put apple trees on the property. But we've been out of that house for seven years now. Yeah, uh, I'd, I'd like, like to, to 
own, own some, some citrus, citrus trees, trees, I think. But, but you know, know I, 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 I don't know. I, we, we planted, planted some stuff that's grown. grown. And, you, know, you, know, you know, it was fun when we were growing up, you know, I went, I went back to some, some of the houses we lived, lived at over the years when, when I was a kid, kid growing up, and it was, I remember, I remember at the one house, my dad planted this maple tree near the front, front yard, in, in Florida, Florida, maple, maple tree of all things, and yeah. sure, sure enough, that tree's freaking huge now, I drove by there, it's a huge tree, so it's cool when you see that, you know, I remember the day he put that in the ground, a little sap point, you know. Yeah, we actually have apple, apple, maple trees on our property here, Yeah, but... Yeah, my uh, my uh, my grandfather built a house in Jersey we grew up in, and he specifically put like a Rome apple, a Macintosh apple. We had pear trees. He, my mom said that the house my my grandfather had it so meticulous and the garden so meticulous that people would actually stop as they drove by and get out of their car and, and look, look around. Yeah. yeah. Because my dad, yeah, he, apple tree in the back, dogwoods in the back, apple on the side, two pears directly on the side of the house, and then two or three apple trees in front, hydrangeas, tiger lilies, daffodils, all, you know, he, he had that place just t- totally set up. And then when he passed away, my father didn't cut the grass for it probably until I was old enough to cut the grass. Wow. Yeah, the, the grass was waist high. Wow. It was that house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> with, wow. with like these beautiful flowers coming through, but it was that house for, for the longest time until I could push a lawnmower. Well, the lovely, lovely Lisa, Lisa and I saw something, something like that today as well. We were out and we saw, saw a house had several banana, banana trees, trees, but then the manicured lawn and a couple, couple real nice manicured, manicured like, like Disney. Disney. Uh, you, you know, know how they do this. Yeah, yeah, and then they had some, some other fruit trees, and then they had some flower things, and then in the front yard, yard they had this area with like it must, must have been, been a couple hundred of these. Uh, I, don't I don't know what the hell they're called. They're, they're like reddish, reddish pinkish, pinkish, and this is the time, time of year they bloom. She, she told me what they were. And she was just, you know, really. It was a really nice setup that these people had. You can tell they've been there a while, and they put a lot of time and work into it. It looks right. Looked great. So cool. Anyway, so here's some. Here, here, here's, here's some, some facts, facts about pie. Okay, okay. Yeah. okay. Just, just the, just just the, the facts. facts. The weirdest pie facts that, that your kid will enjoy. This is according to lifehacker.com. So if you've got kids, they're going to they're gonna enjoy this, supposedly. Gather the children, people. I'm, 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 taking, I'm, I'm taking, taking a chance here. here. Okay. On, On March 14th, 14th, in the nerdier side of humanity, humanity celebrates Pi Day. Day. A holiday that commemorates the irrational, transcendent, and never-ending ratio that helps to describe circles of all sizes. Pi is the ratio of circumference of a circle to its diameter. It comes out to the figure that starts with 3.14, no matter the size of the circle. Get it? That's 3.14 or March 14th. Yada, 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 yada. Yada, yada, yada. Here's, Here's the, the mind-blowing blowing, blowing facts, supposedly, according to this article. article. We well, usually we approximate pi with, with numbers like 3.14 or 3.14159, but the string of numbers to the right of the decimal actually go on forever. We just don't write them all down because we don't have forever. Pi is a never-ending irrational number that never falls into a repeating pattern. That's weird. I thought it was, I thought it was what it was. Yeah, well, it doesn't repeat, you know. <clears throat> it's just completely random. No, not random, but you know, there's no, there's no formula. There's no, 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 you know, structure to it. Here's here's, here's another thing they say is a mind blowing fact. fact. Although, Although pi goes, goes on forever, in practical terms, we really only need a few digits for accurate measurements. For instance, yes. NASA only uses fifteen or sixteen digits for calculations exact enough for our space program. Right. Yeah. Because you you got to use enough, or like you'll miss the moon by about twenty feet, and that would suck. In 1853, British mathematician William Shanks began working on a problem. Twenty years later, he had calculated pi out to 707 decimal places, but Shanks made a mistake on 527 digits. So all the digits that followed were wrong. Yep. No bullseye for you, buddy. <laughs> The, the most, most accurate, accurate measurement, measurement of pi yet. yet. It's been calculated to 62.8 trillion decimal places, thanks, thanks to computers. computers. I was say, buy a computer. Right? Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't think, think that, that was hand done. Shit. If you, you make, make a mistake, mistake on 527, there you're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Rajveer Mina, 
holds, holds the, the world's, world's record for memorizing the most decimal, decimal places of pi. He, he accurately recalled 70,000 decimal places over 10 hours. hours. I'm, I'm calling bullshit. bullshit. I'm, I'm calling yeah, no. No. Yeah. no. 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 If, if, if there was a pattern to it, yeah, I could see maybe, but no. No. Don't. Don't. don't, don't yeah. yeah. I tell you, in in my high school, uh, our detention room was the math room or one of the math rooms. And I remember looking over my shoulder and it was a, a little chart. I don't know how big it was, but probably a, a hundred decimal places to the right of 3.14. And I remember looking at it often in detention uh, and, and kind of memorizing a good amount of of the decimal points after, but no, no, not no seventy thousand yank my chain like that. I was born at night, not last night, buddy. So, so some, some mathematicians, this is according to lifehacker.com, some, some mathematicians think we should celebrate Tau Day. That's T A U separate word day, day. Instead, instead of pi day. day. They, they argue, argue that tau, which, which means two times pi, is, is a better circle constant. All right. Tau, tau day, day is celebrated June 28th. I said be June 28th, yeah. but it wouldn't be Pi Day. So I, I, I don't, don't make these rules. rules. <laughs> pi is, is named, named for the Greek, Greek letter P. It's, it's right. not named after Pi, the, the dessert, dessert tree. Well, speaking of dessert tree, there you, there you go. go. I don't know if you could see this, but it actually around the edge. See, See now, now, when, when I, was I was a little, little kid, kid, I remember, I remember seeing, seeing those symbols. symbols. I, thought I thought that, that meant, meant you were Jewish. Jewish. No. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, doesn't, doesn't it make sense? sense? No. no. Why would what, what what part of this? There we go. It, it looks, looks like, like you know some old Hebrew, Hebrew writing. writing. It, it does look like Hebrew writing, or, you know, hieroglyphics or something. Yeah. But. Yeah. No. All right, All right so, so, so that, that plate you're showing, showing me has pi on the bottom of it, the, the symbol for pi, right. and, and then it, it has numbers, numbers all the way around. around. Yeah. So you see 3.14, mm. 15, 92, 63, blah, 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 blah. All right, sure. all the way to, to whatever. And then I got, this was a Christmas gift because we were married on Pi Day. And then our favorite little thing is this bowl. It's mm. a stainless steel bowl. Mm hmm. And to see if I can get nice. Nice. Okay, that's awesome. Where'd you kind of are these things you picked up over years? Or these were yeah, these were these were these were gifts for our wedding. That's, that's awesome. awesome. So yeah, the the people that picked up on the the fact that we were getting married on Pi Day, some of them bought us pie type gifts. So yeah. This this is in the middle of our, our kitchen table. Nice. This the silver one. We kind of it's like a catch all ball. We throw, you know, the the Taco Bell packets and anything else, sugar packets, napkins, all go in there on the kitchen table. And then of course the actual pie dish is right. in my closet with stuff. And whenever Brenda makes a pie, she'll make it in that. Here's, here's um here's, here's another, another interesting, interesting fact. If you, if you write, write the first three digits of a pi, that's three point one four. But if you write them backwards, backwards it, it looks, looks like, like the word pi. pi. Yes, it looks like a p. It looks like an i. See, like a, I, that, that's, that's an alien, alien thing, thing right, right there. there. <laughs> that's, that's an alien, alien thing. thing. We, we should have this alien update. update. That's yeah. what we should do. We look at the backside. Yeah, it looks like pi. Um, there's also something else I want to talk about about the whole pi thing. This, this is, is the uniquely popular, popular pies. Top five pies that are popular, popular in America. America. Just, Just in time, time for Pi Day. Yep. yep. This, this is according to Yahoo.com, Yahoo. so it must be true. true. Uniquely popular pies. If you're watching on twitch.tv slash both mics, you see I put the map up, and, and the map shows where the pies are favored in that, that particular, particular state. state. For, For instance, instance Florida, Florida, South Carolina, Carolina and Mississippi have a green color on them on the map, and that, that indicates key lime pie. pie. I was going to guess key lime pie. The Nothing better. Georgia, Georgia sticks, sticks out, out like a sore thumb, thumb, giant orange in the middle. That's butterscotch? Sweet potato. Sweet potato, sweet potato yeah. pie. Yeah. Yeah. Then, then when, when you head, head up toward, toward the northeast, northeast a little further, like North, North Carolina, Carolina uh, Tennessee, 
where else was we going? No, no that was Alabama, Alabama was, was the key line pike. Uh, Mississippi's, Mississippi's pecan. pecan. Texas, Texas pecan, pecan as well. well. Now, it's, it's pecan? You say pecan? Is, is it, it pecan, pecan or, or pecan? pecan? It's pecan. Like a can you pee in? Pecan. Is, is it really? really? You're messing yes, with my, me. my wife is in the other room right now, oh. freaking screaming at my, her phone. <laughs> <laughs> is, no, is it really pecan? pecan? It's pecan. It's pecan. Yeah, it's it's pecan, but yes, it's, it's, it's pecan. pecan. It's a stupid. I, 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 you made me look, look it up. up. It's God. pecan. All right, maybe you go further, further up toward, toward the north, north there, there, and you're, and you're in, in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania that's, that's apple pie. pie. Really, apple, apple pie in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. But, but then you go like to New York and some parts. You're looking at New York, New Jersey, Boston cream. I'm not buying that. No. Blueberry is in Maine. Okay. Looks like Maine and either Vermont, New Hampshire. The The entire entire left coast, coast, except except for Oregon and Washington. Washington. So So we're we're talking talking California, California, Nevada, Nevada, Arizona, Utah, New New Mexico, Mexico, Idaho, and Montana. And then over a little bit, I think, what is South Dakota. South Dakota. Dakota. All pumpkin pumpkin pies, the most popular pie there. Eh, I thought it was the same as Georgia. Then you, you got, got those other two box states around there. I guess one's Colorado, and the other one's Wyoming, I would assume. No? Yeah, Colorado on the bottom. They Wyoming. claim that the favorite pie there is peach. See, See now, I would have thought that was a Georgia, Georgia thing. thing. Right? Then, then you, you continue, continue to move on on the map, and you move north. You got Minnesota, and you got uh, North Dakota. North Dakota. Okay. Minnesota, North Dakota. Banana cream. Is the most popular pie. Yeah, yeah, I didn't think that. Didn't think. And, and then cherry has taken like most of the Midwest in the United wow. States. Oklahoma, Nebraska, Indiana, Illinois, Kentucky, West Virginia, Ohio, uh, Wisconsin. Is, is that Wisconsin? Yeah, Wisconsin. Yeah. And Michigan. It's crazy. I would have thought cherry pie would be a big thing in Washington and Oregon where cherries are grown. Well, apparently not. Exactly. Well, well there's, there's something there called a Marion berry. That, that must be like a cherry. I don't know. It must be, you know, from that area. area. And, and then you go over to Alaska. Alaska. Lemon meringue pie is the favorite in Alaska. Alaska. Okay. And, and then Hawaii, Hawaii is sweet potato. Again. Hawaii is sweet potato. How oh, would really? I ever guess? Yeah. yeah. Bizarre. I like um, key lime pie, and I like chocolate cream pie. And that's it. All right. No all cherry, right. no apple. No, oh, I, I like all kinds of pie. pie. I like, that's, that's a, a running, running joke in our house. house. It's, it's like, like, honey, do you, you make pie or something for dessert? dessert? She just, just looked at me, you know, know. really. The, the, he, here, here, this is on yahoonews.com. This is um the map we just talked about, the most popular pie flavors by state. America purchased more than 3.6 million pies through the online grocery service last year. There are 13 unique pie flavors reported by Instacart based on sales between February 21 and January 22. And then it goes on. So just to review, blueberry pie, that's uh, popular in Maine, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Rhode Island. Pecan pie. And they do a funny thing here with a pecan or a pecan. Is it pecan or pecan? No matter how you say it, if this gooey nut pie. See, yeah, this is something. Is most, most loved in the South. South. These states, states are buying pecan, pecan pie the most. Louisiana, Mississippi, North Carolina, Carolina Tennessee, Tennessee, Texas. Apple pie. Apple pie. pie. Connecticut, Connecticut, Maryland, Maryland Nebraska, Nebraska, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania Washington, Washington, D.C. Pumpkin, pumpkin pie, pie. Arizona, Arizona, California, Hawaii, Idaho, Montana, Montana Nevada, Nevada, New Mexico, South Dakota, Utah. And then cherry pie, pie is the favorite in the rest of the states. Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Iowa Kansas. Kansas. Kentucky, Kentucky, Michigan, Missouri, Ohio, Ohio, Oklahoma, West Virginia, and Wisconsin. The thing I like about this, though, is there's there's probably regional type ways to do it. Like, you have to have ice cream. Do you have to have ice cream with your pie or on your pie a la mode? Do you have to have that or no? Nope. Okay. No. Do you have to have it hot or do you prefer your pie cold? Both the the pies I like are refrigerated pies. The The chocolate chocolate, and what's the other one? Key lime. Key lime. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you know, I, I told, told you, Lisa and I belong to that, the, 
that, that food service where they bring by every couple, couple weeks, they bring a big box of vegetables and stuff. And that, 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 it's, it's, it's pretty good, actually. It's pretty good, pretty good service. It's like 50 bucks every other week. And um, uh, when, when so, so it's usually seasonal stuff. stuff. It's all locally grown. It's organic. Not that, not that I'm that organic guy, but, you know, it's locally grown. My farm is here. And, um, you get seasonal stuff. So there was a, a couple months ago, we were getting key limes all the time. And I'm like, what the hell am I going to do with this freaking key limes? I'm like, I know, I'll make pie. So I made a pie. We liked it so much. It became like a weekly thing. Hey, let's make another key lime pie. You know? and then, really? Yeah, yeah, it was good. It was, it was really send me the recipe or something because dude, dude it, was it was so, so quick, quick and, and so easy it was stupid really yeah yeah, yeah. I, was, I would have no idea how to do it i i, I felt, felt bad claiming i made the pie it took, it took me about five, five minutes, minutes and then it sat, sat in the fridge, fridge for about an hour and it was perfect, perfect. yeah wow yeah, yeah it's, it's a, a quick, quick easy type, type thing so, so yeah. yeah even it, 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 kids, kids can do it you can make a make this pie with your kids there you go there you go teach them what pie day is all about send me the recipe Yes, 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 yes. So, so there's, there's some deals you can get on Pie Day on really? pies. Yes. So, so I figured on, on pies, pie this, this would be interesting. interesting. Like, let's say you're, you're listening to this on Pie Day in the afternoon. You're like, well, well shit, I'll go do that for dinner. I can get something off of pie. Now, now we, we talked about a lot of pies. We didn't talk, talk about pizza pie. pie. I, I thought that was interesting. Ooh, right? All right. So check this out. You go to 7-Eleven on March 14th. Seven rewards and speedy rewards members can get a whole pizza for three dollars and fourteen cents. <laughs> cool. And that's the Seven Eleven pizza, folks. You guys enjoy. Uh, is it sad that that Seven Eleven has an app for rewards? A reward? Yeah, app? right. God. BJ's Restaurant and Brewhouse. You get one mini topping pizza on Pie Day for three dollars and fourteen cents if you dine in the restaurant. Blaze Pizza. pizza. If, if you download, download the Blaze Pizza, pizza. you ever had Blaze pizza? pizza? You have Blaze Pizza? Uh, once in uh, in L.A. It's supposed, supposed to be, be pretty good, good was it? Eh. Oh, all right. I, you know, I wasn't too thrilled with it. I, you, you go in, I think you, you pick your crust and your pie, and you kind of pick out the things you want. And, you know, you, it's kind of like a, a Chipotle for, uh, for pizza. Yeah. You know? And then you, you, they bake it for you, and you bring it to your table. Uh, a buddy, another buddy, buddy of mine from New York, and he swears by it down here in Florida. He's like, oh, yeah, Blaze Pizza. pizza. I'm like, all right. I'm not overly excited about it. I've, I've never, never heard, heard of this place, place called Collie Power. Power so I'm going to stay off that. that. How, about How about Chevy's? You got a Chevy's near you anymore or no? Uh, just the one at, in Lake Buena Vista. This was the last one. Chevy's. House Margaritas will be available for $3.14 all day. Cool. CC's Pizza. You still got a CC's Pizza near you? Uh, believe it or not, we went there the other day or a couple weeks ago. On Pi Day, three dollars and fourteen cents gets you access to the change all you can eat pizza on Pi Day. Uh, I'm getting a notification that it sounds like we're in the bathroom and there's an echo. You're in a bathroom. No, it sounds like we are in a bathroom and there's an I don't echo. Know. Um. Ah, let, let me, me turn, turn mine. Let, let me, me do, do this. this. Let's see if that's any better. I bet you that's going to be a lot better. Yeah. All right. I made a tweet. That's there. exactly what it was. Because I had that problem with the microphone. Well, that's, that sucks. I thought we were given some good pie information. There. No, it's you, all you fucked up. and everything. It just sounded like we were in the bathroom. It has that, that echo. Not, not, not an echo echo, but an echo. All right. <laughs> reverb. Turn the reverb off. All yeah, right. We're better. So, Donato's Pizza, you ever had that or you seen that around? It used to be in Chris, Orlando. Chris Donato? Donato's? Yes, I know Chris Donato. Fresh He's Market. Just... Fresh Market. Chicken pot pies and nine inch apple and cherry pies will be available for $3.14 on Pie Day. Wow. Gold cool. Belly, Grimaldi's, Honey Baked Ham, Hungry Ooh, Howie's, Grimaldi's. Magnolia Bakery, Marco's Pizza. Mountain Mike's Pizza, Pilot Flying J. Take five dollars off on Pie Day when you order There's pizza a, at the truck stop. We have a Marcos. We have a Marcos right by us. Yeah, Lisa uh, likes that pizza. I'm like, eh. It was all right. Yeah. Yeah. Grimaldi's is good. Sabaro. Remember those places in the malls yeah. up north? In case you're in the airport and you need a slice of pizza real quick. Yeah. Okay. There's another place called Slice. That's ingenious. Huh? How about 
Uno Pizzeria and Grill. All the ones that were down here, we used to go drink at those places, throw peanuts on the floor, play trivia. It was a whole thing. We were we were upset because last time we were down uh, visiting the mouse, uh, the uh, Unos we used to go to across the right street by, at the crossroads. Right, yep, at crossroads. Uh, closed. Crazy, dude. And and believe it or not, that's where the Chevys is too. So wow. yeah, the uh, the Unos is gone, but there's one on 192, and there's also one on Sand Lake Road or I Drive. So yeah, there's there's two still in the area. So Amazon Prime members can get three dollars and fourteen cents off whole large size cherry and apple pies from the Whole Foods Market Bakery on March 14th. I want a freaking pecan pie, not pecan, a key lime pie. Yeah, Damn right. It. And then your pie, whatever that is, yada yada. <laughs> anyway, if you know a place that has a pie, you're probably getting a deal. So go get some pie on pie day. How about that? Right. Man. The nasty. Is it, what's that a picture of a beet pie? Uh, I think that's cherry <laughs> pie without the lattice look on the top. It's Got just the, the Bing beets. cherries or whatever they use. It's made with beets. Nice. Borscht pie. Borscht pie. I like that. <laughs> Here's another pie. That must be sweet potato or pumpkin. It's that a piece looks like pie. Pumpkin, with, yeah. yeah. With yeah. a with a Jewish numeral yes. three on it, the Hebrew writing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All right. So, people take their phone sometimes to phone repair, right? Okay. Yeah. Have you ever taken your phone to a phone repair place? No, because I I preserve it in an otter box and I put it in a clip on my belt like a freaking nerd, and it never breaks. Never have an issue with it. No problems. I don't sit on it. I don't drop it. I don't throw it. Like my daughter used to throw her phone all the time. I I have thrown a phone or two. I I will tell you. <laughs> <laughs> gotten, gotten some not so good news on the phone. I have tossed a phone or two. And then I, I broke it so bad, but I had the insurance. So like for 150 bucks, they sent me a brand new phone, just like the phone I had. So cool. I'm yes. good with that, you know. But you're, it cost me 150 bucks. I shouldn't have done it, but yeah. Yeah. Phone repair workers, according to ClickOrlando.com, phone repair worker sent explicit photos from customers to himself, a Koei police say. Not surprised. So you need to wipe your phone, folks. And I don't mean with a cloth. You need to wipe your phone before you're getting it fixed as a digital forensic expert. Yeah. Well, the thing is, like, forever, I never had a password on my phone. Never. Until the kids uh, started uh, grabbing your phone, right? No, no. Oh. I actually, I had to download something on my phone in order to be able to log on to my computer at work. Yeah. And this particular software needed to have the password to protect. time out. It would time out after a certain amount of unattended time, or what? Uh, no, it, I just needed a password to be able to access it. Ah. So yeah, in order to access my computer, because this way people would be able to get my 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 commute, you know, whatever my second validation code from my phone to get to my work computer. So they made me put a password on it in order to install this software. It demands a password. So listen to what this rocket scientist did. Benjamin Rojas, 30, was arrested on a warrant on January 7th, 2022, and pleaded not guilty to charges on Wednesday. This goes back to December 14th. 2021. According to court documents, Ocoee police officers were called to the You Break I Fix store located at 10159 West Colonial Drive on December 14th, 2021. Investigators wrote in the report that the victim dropped her phone off to have a cracked screen repaired earlier that day and noticed texts being sent from her phone while she was at home using her iPad. (laughs) <laughs> right, because because iPhones and iPads will communicate that way. Okoe police said not only did detectives find explicit images of the victim who contacted them, but also another woman who dropped off her phone for repairs one month prior. How could you have your phone at the repair store for a month? Or is that no, just it, that, it was a month prior? Okay, it was yeah, it's two different people. I see. The report also claimed there were several images taking of unsuspecting women in public. Anyway, okay. this is a, a bad situation. So if you have to get your phone repaired, 
Make sure yeah, you take all your shit don't off. Don't go to Pine Hills, a.k.a. a Koei, to get it done. Yeah, and even if you delete the porn, they can still find it. Yeah. So, probably probably the West Oaks Mall. Yeah. So, girls, don't be doing those, uh, you know, every chick's got the bathroom mirror picture. You ever seen that? Yeah, of course. Yeah. What is that about, dude? What well, are you doing? Where they, they hang out. It's the thing. Um, or, or sitting in the sitting in the driver's seat of your car. You know, you can see the the cushion behind the chair, and they take a picture of them. You know, in the I just want to let you know I'm feeling really great about today. Yeah, go go Mondays. Everybody <laughs> loves Mondays. <laughs> yeah, my right. uh, my kids. They the speaking of West Oaks Mall, all my kids uh, had nicknames for all the malls in town. Oh yeah, yeah. They had the, the fancy mall. Which yeah. one's the fancy mall? Uh, that's uh, the the one out by uh, I drive and all that stuff. The uh, yeah, Millennium Mall. Millennium, Millennium. yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the Millennials yeah. go to Millennium Mall. Yes. Then then it was the the ugly mall. That's got to be on Colonial, where the uh, the no? the thing used the, to be. The ugly Mall is where all the tourists go. All the all the British people. Oh, that the, would be the outlet malls, the Bells, the Florida Mall, Florida Mall. Okay, okay. Florida Mall. Then the Gangster Mall. You know the Gangster Mall. Yeah, I've been to that. I'm forgetting the name of it off the top of my head. A Magic Mall. Well, a Koei and, and <laughs> the, uh, the the West Oaks Mall. But yeah, the Magic Mall is always just a Magic Mall for some reason. Yeah, when you have when a drive- mall, when you have a mall near streets that have numbers and directions, that's not a good thing. Yeah, yeah. You ever you ever been by the the Magic Mall when the uh, the classic is being played at the Citrus Bowl? No, but I re- <laughs> I remember being in a certain restaurant and being scared on that day that you know <laughs> and I'm not talking about the RFC day that you know of either. I'm talking about another one somewhere else and somebody said something. I was like, "What?" And sure enough, buddy, the buses showed up. <laughs> and I was like, "Wow." We drove through that area by mistake one time during the classic right in front of the Magic Mall. You, you would think the circus was in town, or oh actually, god. the circus was in town. Oh my god! Yeah, it, it un, yeah. The, when the Florida Classic is being played at the Citrus Bowl, aka Camping World Stadium, in Orlando, Florida, do not go anywhere near there. Well, there's so many people; it's traffic. You know, it's uh, anyway. Whatever, whatever, whatever. <laughs> kind of like that yeah. night at the RFC where you went back and told the chef oh to get some god. more ribs and shrimp ready. Because <laughs> the freaking show that was at the House of Blues, and he didn't understand it. He was like looking at you, like what? And that then, was funny. then it was like ten forty-five, and people started to get out from that concert. So we were all hiding, pretend like there was nobody in the restaurant. Close the doors! Roll the doors! <laughs> Roll the doors! Fifteen minutes till I don't need a crumpled up dollar and a hundred dollar tab. Right. There oh used, god! There used to be a situation we used to. I don't know. That I you know, I'm probably gonna cross the line with this one, so I'm not gonna go there. But I'll just say <laughs> my first waiting job ever was at the original, the number one, the first ever red lobster in Lakeland, Florida. I worked wow. at the flagship store and my first gig is as a well, one of my first gigs is a waiter. And um that was a thing, dude. That was a thing. We used to call you know, if you got a table and you didn't want that table for some reason, you'd pay somebody to take the table so you wouldn't have to <laughs> fucking deal with it, dude. You know, it's one thing to deal with it, and it's one thing to get the tip that's bad. But when you have to yeah. deal with it and get the bad tip, I'm out. Yeah. Yeah, here, here's yeah. five dollars, dude. Take my table. I don't even give a shit. With certain people, they were like, I, I don't know if we want to sit here. We want to sit over there. But great, great. Come on. Let's, <laughs> exactly. Let's for you. Don't let the door kick you in the back. Let me grab those menus. Can you bring you right out of here? Right, come here. Take it. Take your pick. Take your pick. Go. Don't go away mad. Just go away. Well, we had somebody at that store that was a little devious. And, you know, I know you're going to automatically think it was me, but it wasn't. I, I did have to learn from some other people. Okay. <laughs> but he picked up that the... Uh, the codes, the color codes they used in the kitchen, in the prep area, the colors of the days of the week. Like right. Tuesday was like orange, like Friday was like red, Sunday was like blue. Well, Monday was black. So he, start, he would say, 
I would say, hey, I'm trying to get out a little early tonight. Maybe you want to take my table? I can go. I'll give you five bucks. And he's like, is it Mondays? And I was like, what? What do you mean is it Mondays? And he shows me the prep schedule and it shows me the black stickers for Mondays. And I'm like, Christ, dude, are you serious? I'm going to get in trouble here. You know, and so so that became a thing. I got a six top of Mondays. Who wants them? And I'm like, really? Really? <laughs> now, this, it, listen, this was not me, of course. So don't go writing Mike underscore Sofka at bothmikes.com, okay? Don't. It wasn't me. I'm reporting this. All right. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> but, but everybody loves Mondays. <laughs> yes, yes. I don't know what the problem is. I'm going to leave the pie thing up in the background. It'll, it'll look solid. Now, it seems to me I remember a certain someone many years ago making a comment that the only way we're leaving here is either in an ambulance or handcuffs. <laughs> well, okay. This, uh, that was actually you. <laughs> this guy right here. Well, you can't see him because he's in the ambulance. It's another Florida teacher situation. This is according okay. to Newsbreak.com. Florida teacher leaves classroom on stretcher after five-year-old attacks him. Wow, I, yeah. Buddy, I'm calling bullshit on this one. I'm calling he's smelling a lawsuit is what this is. This is according to WFLA. A South Florida teacher was carried out of her classroom on a stretcher after being attacked by a five-year-old student at her school. The incident happened at Pine Lakes Elementary in Pembroke Pines shortly after 10 a.m. Wednesday, according to an affidavit obtained by the news station. Police said two students, ages four and five, were being disruptive in class, flipping chairs and throwing things at teachers. After they were taken to a cool-down room, that was in mm -hmm. italics there. The five-year-old started attacking the teacher with his fists and feet. Officers found the teacher sitting on the ground against the wall. She appeared faint and dazed and started coughing and dry heaving. Look, I appreciate yeah. the effort there, teacher, but I'm not buying it. No. I'm not buying it. Now, I get it. She can't whip the five-year-old's ass because then she loses her job. I get it. But I don't think you needed to go to the hospital. Stop. From a five-year-old attacking you? What was it, Chucky with a knife? <laughs> Who knows? You know, it, you get caught the right way. You know, I, I've seen people jump in the air, you know, not jump off of something, just jump up and jump back down and break their leg. You know, so anything, you know, I... It does, is it suspect? Yeah, it's very suspect that a you know five year old attacked you, and now you have to go to the hospital. You know, Conwell if, added, if, <laughs> this guy. If uh, I got attacked by a five year old in in that situation, and I saw a payday. Yeah. You know. Yeah, my neck might start hurting. Yeah. Yeah, the county's got money. Sure do. The state of Florida's got money. Pembroke Pines police spokeswoman Amanda Conwell confirmed to Nexstar that the teacher has since returned home. Conwell added that officers had not arrested or filed charges against a five-year-old as of Monday. Well, yeah, because he's a five-year-old child. But the investigation was still ongoing. Yeah. <laughs> it's a five-year-old. First of all, it's a five-year-old. Second of all, he learned that behavior somewhere. Right. Whether it's cartoons, whether it's TV, whether it's mom or dad, maybe they're taking karate class to, to work on discipline and they thought they would practice their karate in school. I don't know. You ever you ever thought about putting your kids in karate? Briefly, yeah. My yeah. son did it for a while and he, he, he liked it. It was, it, you know what happened? It was when me and his mom first got split up, we were both concerned about him. You know what I mean? Right. So yeah. that was an activity that we could all do together. He could go and do his karate, and we would go sit and watch. That was a pretty cool thing, I thought. You know, it was something we could both do together and be in the same room with each other for an hour. Right. But um, <laughs> it, you. it did teach him discipline. It did teach him, you know, to respect the elders. It did teach him to follow directions and listen. It did teach them to be a little bit competitive once they got to a certain level. It did teach them to defend themselves their funny thing right. was uh i and again i i think i told this story before i want to say it was my son but it might have been my sister and like the first day of class they were like 
okay, if a stranger comes to, to grab you, what do you do? And, and you know, somebody was like, run and get help. And they were like, yeah, say the phrase they taught them was no way, stranger, and you run, okay? But if you have to defend yourself, they showed you a couple moves. And, again, I don't know why I can't remember whether it was my son or my sister just raised his hand <laughs> and said, why don't you just kick him in the nuts? And nice. I – I thought that was a pretty good assessment. Just kick him right. in the nuts. So that would work. Anyway, that would work. It it worked for discipline. I've seen kids get good responses, but you know it is what it is, sir. But, right. Yeah, we thought about, or at least I've thought about it. We'll see. He's a little, he's a little little tiny right now for that. This is a, a Vegas-looking place. It's a Vegas entertainment complex. If you're watching on twitch.tv slash both mics, it's a beautiful picture of something called Area 15, a la Area 51, Las Vegas entertainment concept headed to Orlando. Ooh, imagine that. This is according to the Orlando business journey. This is why I like living in Central Florida, dude. We get all the good shit. You know what I mean? Right. Yep. They're going to try it out here. They figure if they try it out here and it works, it'll, it'll go somewhere else. So. They say a 16-foot-tall robot sculpture has been placed at the future location of the massive immersive entertainment complex. And if you want to hear the rest of the story, you got to pay $4 to subscribe to Orlando Business Journal. So, nice. screw, screw you. It's coming. That Hey, I reported it, okay? <laughs> but it looks pretty cool, dude. It Don't does, it? yeah. It's probably got, I'm sure it has all the, the, you know, the trappings of uh, Dave and Buster's and... And all that, and probably indoor go karts, and who knows what else. Well, you, you know what that I have noticed is that, and it's kind of a cool thing. Malls that have been going out, yep, they replace them with stuff. That play, that mall in Sanford, they have in in one one of the anchor stores plus a little of the mall. They've got a thing like this. In Leesburg, little Leesburg in Lake County, just about the whole mall is dominated by a thing like this. These are places where you can find bars, restaurants on the inside, or maybe it's all under one management company. There's bowling, there's video games, there's a kid area, there's go-karts indoors at some of these places. They yep. have the, the trampoline rooms where you can jump around, so... This is like a great rainy day or a summer afternoon place to go or take kids or yep. drop kids off. <laughs> hey, <laughs> here you go. Here's 10 bucks. See you in a while. Right? Yeah. 10 bucks. Yeah, right. 10 bucks what was I thinking? A churro and a soda. Right? That was back in my day. Shit. Right? How come they didn't have cool shit like this? Now, you've been at a Dave & Buster's, right? Yeah, of course. You like it? You like that kind of place or what? Yeah, yeah, we 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 actually took the boys there for their birthday this past year. I have a pet peeve about going to places like this or going bowling or places like that. Yeah. I don't want to watch you eating greasy onion rings and french fries and then handling all the balls and then picking up those greasy onion rings and pizza and shit and not washing your hands. You know what I mean? I just think it's not a I'm, – I'm not that, you know, super hygiene guy. I'm, I'm Never not, thought about it, but now now my wife, who's who's probably listening in the other room, is great. throwing up. I ruined it for you? Yeah. You're going to have to wash – you're going to have to take wet wipes with you? Puking. Hand sanitizer to the bowling alley? Yeah. Uh, yeah, she's all about the hand sanitizer. It, it disgusts me, dude. I can't watch somebody eating – while they're bowling, and then not, I, I just, it's, no. Well, it's, and David Buster's at separate areas. Yeah, still. yeah, and, and 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 that was the thing. You know, when we go to a place like that, I have a strict rule. No, I will eat. If we're going to eat, we're going to eat first, okay? And then, after we get done eating first, we can still drink. You know, you, those are games designed to play while you're drinking. But I like that yeah. concept of an adult place, you know, an adult Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, yeah. My first time to Dave and Buster's, I was I saw this motorcycle thing, and I was like, "Oh, that's pretty cool." And I went to get on the motorcycle, and this little kid ran in front of me. He had to be like seven. Jumped on the motorcycle, popped his token thing in or his card or whatever it was, and all of a sudden, it was like the fucking SWAT team came out of nowhere. Four guys in black plain suits came over, grabbed the kid, moved him off the bike, and said, "We're sorry, sir. Go right ahead." <laughs> I was Interesting. Like, no, no, it's cool, man. It's cool. The kid's on it. Just let him play. No, sir, we have a strict policy. He must be attended by an adult, and he's obviously not your child. I'm like, well, yeah, yeah, just, 
you know, then, then it's on me, you know? I'm like, really? Right. Really? Yeah, but I thought yeah, that was the, pretty cool. They're, those those days are over. Yeah. It's a free-for-all. Yeah, I would it's have been sued. Now, yeah, the parents would have sued me. Yeah, dude. So do the kids like Chuck E. Cheese, or do you go to places like that? We, we took uh, Michael. We took Xander for his first birthday, so he was really too young to even know what was going on. Yeah. And Chuck E. Cheese has changed. No more, no more robot band. You know the little stage with the animatronic. Uh, band what did you that show? Plays. Show visual? Show a video or no? Yeah, it's a it's a video now, and you know it's 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 kind of lame. And then uh, and then you know Tyrone comes out of the back in a Chuck E. Cheese costume, kind of. Smells around. like weed. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like weed. You know, you know, Chuck E. Cheese's eyes are bloodshot. And that pizza crust is kind of cardboardy, dude. I mean, there yeah. goes that sponsor, I know. But, I mean, it's, yeah. it's not yeah. a place that you're going for the pizza. You're going for the kid. Yeah. They have well, we, pizza. We went ahead. I think we got, like, like a, a wings for an appetizer or some kind of appetizer that we ordered our pizza at the counter. And our appetizer never came. So I went back, and, and she comped the whole thing. So I was like, all right, that'll work. Do they still sell beer and wine at those places? I don't, I don't know. I didn't. Because when I was taking Trey, that was cool. He yeah. would love to go, and I'd love to drink beer, so... Yeah, it was... It, the one we went to was in San Antonio. It was real generic. Mm -hmm. It was... Yeah, not 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 like I remember it when I was younger. Mm -hmm. Not that I went, you know, as a child. Oh, I but, used uh, to go because all the teenagers would have to go with their younger brothers and sisters to birthday parties and shit. Yeah. And we used to have air hockey tournaments for money in the back. <laughs> 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 I would win money at that shit, dude. Wow. You know, quick 40 bucks, whatever. Nice, nice. Eight guys, I'll put in five bucks. It's good. Cool. Anyway. Cool. So, remember we've talked about self-driving cars in the past? We have? In the past, yeah, yeah. Oh, you <laughs> any alien updates and stuff have. like that. Yes, yes, I know. I'm busting your balls. Right. Well, check it out. What's missing in this car that I'm showing you right here? Uh, no steering wheel. Yes. The Department of Transportation has eliminated the need for human controls in automated vehicles. Is there a gas pedal? This is according to Reuters. This is come, comes out of Washington, so it must be true. U.S. regulators on Thursday issued final rules eliminating the need for automated vehicle manufacturers to equip fully autonomous vehicles with manual driving controls to meet crash standards. Last month, General Motors Company, GM, and its self-driving technology unit, Cruise, petitioned the U.S. National Highway Traffic Safety Administration for permission to build and deploy a self-driving vehicle without human controls like steering wheels or brake pedals. So they revised the rules for vehicles designated to be solely operated by an ADS. That it's automatic driving system. So Here, here's the thing though, right? We have we have the Honda Pilot, we have all the buzzers and whistles, and we have cruise control. Now the cruise control on that, and of course it's I have a brake pedal, a gas pedal, and the steering wheel. Um, you put the, the cruise control on, say, 75 miles an hour, and you come, ac you come upon a car in front of you, my car will sense that that car is there and will slow down, even though my speed, my, my cruise control is set at 75. Yeah. My car will slow down to 73, 75, you know, whatever, 72, to keep a distance between sure. me and that car. Yeah, but then it some sucks. wise ass has to cut in front of you. And then your car slams on yes. the brakes. Yes. So you have a totally non a autonomous car that basically there's no way to get around it. There's no overdriver, you know, that to to circumvent these particular deals. So your car, like you, you're never gonna get anywhere. Especially, can you imagine driving one of those in well, New York traffic or you know on the Garden State Parkway in Jersey? Well, maybe the future is autonomous vehicles on road systems, much like the Vegas Loop that we saw back in '99. Right. You don't even own a car anymore. You do like an Uber on the app, and the car comes for you and takes you to where you want to go. There's no need to own right. a car anymore. This is what the only the only way it'll work, I think, is if all cars are that way. 
you know, because then the cars will probably even talk to each other. Who knows? But, but it's just like everything else. You know, when a car was created, boom, all of a sudden, not everybody had a car, right? Right. Do you know only 1% of vehicles out there are EVs, electric, electric vehicles? Yeah, so I think it's a little early to be to be bringing this thing out. It's a little early to be closing pipelines and shit, too, is what I'm saying. Because freaking gas is $5 a gallon, dude. Well, how much is yeah. it by you at the Bucky's? And that's the, the Buckies, cheap place. That's the, the cheap Buckies gas. The today, yeah. I think it was four fifteen. Yeah. First it's... time ever in my life I've paid over $4 a gallon. Well, it's a record high. Record high previously was four eleven here in here locally. I saw four in in the Central Florida area. I've seen four forty nine and four fifty nine. Wow! It's fucking crazy, dude. Fucking it crazy. Is. I went to we belong to Sam's, and yeah. the day he said that we weren't going to get any Russian oil anymore, which I agree with. I mean, I agree with it, but you got to continue to produce produce oil here. And there's so many. There's so much misinformation. There's so much crap out there about this. It's not even funny. The nine thousand—that's all bullshit. If I if I give you nine thousand parking lots to go drill, you know, maybe some of those leases didn't pan out. Maybe they're they're not productive. You know, maybe they're just in the wrong spots. You know, it takes years for that. But when you put rations and 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 regulations on the current manufacturers of oil based products, and the thing that people don't understand is. We're not just talking about gas for your car, folks. Correct. We're talking about plastics. Yep. We're talking about pet all petroleum-based products. I mean, this is everything. Now, if the apple or the orange or the pear or the banana that doesn't use any gas, guess what? Somebody has to freaking drive that thing and spend gas getting it to you. So that makes everything go up as well. So we're, we're in a shitstorm here. Yep, I agree. The, the inflation being at eight percent, you know what that costs an average family of four? Another three hundred dollars a month. Just inflation. That doesn't count yep. the increase in gas. Fucking crazy, dude. You can't go anywhere anymore. You gotta think about it. Do I really yep. need to go to the store today? Can I wait till tomorrow? Because anyway. I went to Sam's and I filled up the day that happened with the Russian oil in it. Three uh three ninety four. Meanwhile, across the street, it was 4.15, and I thought, hey, win. <laughs> <laughs> it only took $84 to fill up the truck. Yay! Yeah, 70, 71 bucks today. I couldn't believe it. Fucking crazy, dude. The last time I had a bill like that, God, it was a time I was at the uh, at the, the Walmart getting gas back in 2005-ish, and... Uh, Meant to put like 10 bucks in, right? Wanted to put 10 bucks in. I clicked the thing. I turned. I started talking to my daughter. We're talking, 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 talking. All of a sudden, bink. I go, oh, crap. I look at it. $68. Wow. So, yeah. It's been a, been a while since I uh, I spent that much on gas. I got to try this. I got to find this. Here's another product here. We got about six minutes to go here. What is that? Okay. Mike? What is that? I put a picture up on twitch.tv slash both mics. If you're listening to the podcast, you can go to the, the site, both mics.com. You can go to the YouTube page, both mics and what's hot in Florida. This right here is a product Appears they're bringing back. Apparently, yeah. this was out before Kraft macaroni and cheese ice cream. What's wrong with people? Dude, when there's perfectly good mint chocolate chip on the planet. Why would you even bother? This is Van Lewin's website and stores is where you can find it at $12 a pint. That's like $48 a... No, how many pints are in a... Four quarts, there's eight pints in a gallon. Figure that, dude. Are you right. freaking serious? $96 for a gallon of that ice cream? Must be that good, huh? That's ridiculous. My pants better be very wet when I'm done with that. <laughs> yeah check it no. out it's going to be available at 3500 walmart stores around the country the other flavors coming to walmart are planet earth i guess there's rocks and shit in that dirt dirt pizza dirt. they're gonna have pizza flavored ice cream really hot honey ew royal wedding cake that's as opposed to peasant wedding cake i assume right Bourbon Cherries Jubilee. Now, that sounds pretty good, actually. Yeah. And Wild Blueberry Shortcake. 
Now the pizza, the pizza flavor doesn't include tomato sauce. It includes a tomato jam swirl mixed with a basil crust, cookies and cream cheese, and mozzarella ice cream. I, I you know what? I, I got to try a taste of these things. You know what I mean? Yeah, but uh, you know, at the at that price though. Maybe what I'll do, and I never go to Walmart, dude. I I, I haven't been to Walmart in a long time, dude. Yeah, we. I don't like going there. I don't like the store, the people, the concept, the whole thing. But we have it. We we oh, eventually, like once in a while, we have to go because of convenience. I get you. You got kids. You know, everything's will. You know, where can you go at? Well, they're not open twenty four hours. At least not the ones near me anymore. But you could go like at two o'clock in the morning, get a one wine glass, some new bath <laughs> towels, some ice cream, KY, some tires. KY. And a cucumber. <laughs> yeah. Check this out. They released this last year. Pints sold out within the first hour of going on sale last year, and almost 10,000 scoops were sold in stores on the first day. Wow. I, wow. I'm speechless. I'm, I'm yeah. going to try it, dude. I'm going to try it. Now, this goes on in February. Hudsonville Ice Cream released Little Debbie-themed ice cream. The first okay. wave of flavors include oatmeal cream pies, cosmic brownies, zebra cakes, honey buns, strawberry shortcake rolls, Swiss rolls, nutty bars. You get your junk food on here, man. I I'm want digging a Swiss that. roll now. Ugh. I could go with those. I could go with the, the little Debbie ones quicker than the mac and cheese. Right. And pizza ice cream. What the hell's wrong with people? I know. Yeah. I know. But like crazy. I said, when it's perfectly good mint chocolate chip. Why, why why stray? Why stray from the classics? All right. Well, we're almost out of time, but I do want to get into a get off my lawn real quick here. Okay. So I'm only going to do a portion of the get off my lawn video. So only three minutes instead of ten? Yes. You five feet high in Korea. Use it for sandbags. Can't you people just leave me alone? Get off my lawn. You'd think the cold would keep all the idiots out. What are all you fish heads looking at anyway? Get off my lawn. God, you people are nuts. I knew you were a dipshit the first time I ever saw you. You're wrong. All right, I like Clint Eastwood and I like Get Off My Lawn. This Get one's combined with lawn. Florida Man. Oh, imagine that. February 24th, 2022. Guy got pulled over for speeding. His excuse? Putin made me do it. <laughs> yes, yes. Florida man. This is according to foxnews.com, so it must be true. Florida man blames Putin for why he was speeding. Body cam okay. footage shows the driver said he was rushing home to find out what Putin was planning. Really? The unidentified driver was pulled over by Flagler County deputy in Palm Coast last Thursday for allegedly running a stop sign and going 50 in a 30. Deputy said wow. body cam footage released by the sheriff's office. The man also said he was trying to get his car to sport mode. Then he argued he saw another man coming, was another car coming, was trying to get out before them. Then he said he had just found out Putin just said he's going to launch nuclear thermal war against the world. And I was trying to get back to my house to find out what's going on. I'm freaking out. Lord. Yeah. Just say you have to take a shit. Say something, dude. Come on. Right. I got the squirts. Anyway. All right. Well, I wanted to squeeze that one in before we go out. Shout yeah, out! I to, get it. Got the squirts. Squeeze it in. Shout, I get it. Shout out to Gino Losi. Check him out. Go fishing. Dustin Levine over at the... Uh, the uh, the Mellon Patch Theater in Leesburg. And, of course, you can always check out my friend, uh, Knife Hand Stan, with Jet Set Printing for all your printing needs. We will see you next time. Thank you for Show 100. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Happy everybody. anniversary, sweetie. Yay. Yay, it's my anniversary.
Ladies and gentlemen, 